All right, have you ever had this happen? Well, today we're gonna to show you how to fix it in five minutes. So typically what would cause a quad to fall out of the sky is what we refer to as a desync. That's when the motor's spinning and the ESC gets confused in the motor rotation commutation and then it sends the wrong pulses from the FETs to the motor and it stalls the motor out. If you ever look at a black box log of it, it looks just like this. You can see on the top line we have the motor traces and what you'll see is this one motor will peg all the way to 100. When you're looking at the motor traces in black box, these are not what the motor RPMs are. This is what the flight controller is commanding for the motors to do. So it's commanding this motor to go to 100%. Many times this will occur with BL Heli S ESCs, so the 16 bit ESCs. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and plug that into BL Heli Configurator and I'll show you the setting you adjust. Okay, we have the BL Heli Configurator up. We have the quad plugged in to USB and also a LiPo plugged into it. Make sure to use a smoke stopper or have your props off. I'm gonna go ahead and connect there. And I'm gonna go read ESCs. And right here at the very top, we wanna change this from the start power. We wanna reduce that down to 0 0.125. Always seems to be the magic number that I see work for me and other people. So we're gonna go set that for start power. We're gonna go ahead and hit right setup. And that is it, we will disconnect. If you are using the BL Heli S Suite, again, launch that, pick the COM port, hit connect, hit read setup. You will see your start power right here. Just go ahead and bring this down to 0.125, hit right setup, and then disconnect. That's all well and good, but what if you have a quad that's a 32-bit ESCs and not 16-bit ESCs? So how do you fix it in 32-bit? So again, we're gonna plug the quad's flight controller into the computer. We're gonna go ahead and take props off or use a smoke stopper, plug in our LiPo, and then we're gonna bring up BL Heli 32 firmware. We're gonna find the COM port that the flight controller is connected with. We're gonna hit connect. We're gonna hit read setup. And then right up here, you're gonna see this ramp up power. You're gonna bring this ramp up power down to about 12%, 12 or 13%. In BL Heli 32, you also have the option of this DMAG compensation right here. You can go ahead and set that to high as well. And what that will do is it's not necessarily going to prevent the desync, but it, it will increase the likeliness that the motor will be able to recover for a desync. So instead of it flipping out and rolling, falling to the ground, you might see the arm drop and then come back up. Yes, you're having a desync, but it's recovering from that, which is obviously better. Now, of course, if you do both, like I talked about, bringing that ramp up power down, and then also doing a DMAG compensation high, hopefully the ramp up power solution, you won't have that anymore where that arm drops, but the DMAG compensation being on high is a little bit of insurance. Of course, with both set, we're gonna go in and hit right setup. And that will push all the settings to our ESCs, and then we're done. If you're playing with dynamic idle value, just turn that off and see if the problem goes away. If people a lot of times are setting up dynamic idle and they're misunderstanding how to do it and not putting it high enough, then that of course can cause the quad to desync. The next thing we wanna look at is in the configuration page and we wanna look at the motor idle throttle value. I'm assuming you're using D-Shot and if you're not, why aren't you? And in that value right here, uh, you know, if that is at the default 5.5, it should be high enough for all the quad classes. But if you are on a really big quad class, maybe it does need to be a little higher. In either case, it doesn't hurt to bump it up for some testing to see if it solves the issue. So what I would do is bring this up to 7%. This all said, typically in my experience, outside of the dynamic idle being configured incorrectly, it's typically not the motor idle throttle value that is the problem. Usually the fix is in the BL Heli firmware. Okay, so that is it for how to address desyncs on either your BL Heli S or BL Heli 32 quads. If this video helped you out, please be sure to subscribe, smash that like button. Thanks everybody, and I hope this helped.